Reading is the art of living. I read when I'm bored. I read when I eat. I read when I drink. And I read when I'm sleeping. Wait, what? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Nixie Yulianti. And in this video, I will be doing a book review of one of the most heartwarming books that I've ever read in my entire life. It is Ayah by Andrea Hirata. Oh. As a little bit of a story, I got this novel from my sister as a gift when I was in junior high school. I was a member of a literature club and I read a lot of books back then, so that's probably why my sister chose to give this book to me as a gift. My first impression of this book is it is thick. It's really thick guys, it's almost 400 pages, but I'm not saying that I hate it though. Because when we read a thick book, it feels like we're going in a very long and wonderful journey, right? Why not? It's really fun. Since the title is Father, of course this book is about Father. It is about Sabari, who is a very sincere and pathetic person. We can already see it from his name, Sabari, it comes from the word Sabar, which in Indonesian means passion. He loved Marlena, who was the most wanted girl in school. Of course, Marlena rejected him, but it didn't even shame Sabari. Until in the end, Sabari worked at Marlena's father's factory and had to marry Marlena because she was pregnant with an unknown man. Marlena didn't even know who her child's father is because she dates a lot of men. Wow. Not only that, after Marlena gave birth to her child, she left Sabari, just like that. As expected, Sabari takes care of Marlena's child named Zoro with all of his heart. At its peak, when Marlena returns and takes Zoro, Sabari lost his will to live and goes crazy. Well, honestly, there are a lot of things to like about this novel. But number one is the beautiful dictions. The way Andrea Hirata describes every atmosphere and put it into words, it's just very beautiful. I am fascinated and thinking like, how did he write this? It's so beautifully written. Number two, interesting characters. Honestly, this novel has many characters and many characters also have interesting stories to tell. Not to mention the main characters like Sabari and Marlena, other characters are also interesting too. Such as Sabari's father who is very poetic, Marlena's father who is very strict and doesn't want his child to end up on the wrong path, Sabari's friends, even Sabari's secret admirer named Izzy. All of them are interesting, like I'm even willing to read their stories more. It's just so interesting. Number three, meaningful stories. If you read this novel, I'm sure you get a lot of lessons about life, friendship, and also love. I would give this novel four out of five stars. I love it, it's so heartwarming, especially looking at how Sabari loves and taking care of Zoro even though he's not his real father. But there are also things that may be confused about the book, which is the side story. So this book also tells the relationship between Amiru and Amirza, they are father and child. I love their relationship, but somehow I didn't get it why their stories must be on this book when it didn't even relate it to Sabari's story. But yeah, overall, it's really worth to read. I highly recommend you guys to read this book. It's so heartwarming. That's it for the review. I hope you will find this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!